Uh, hi everyone, my name's Sid. And my name is Avanish. Uh, we're part of Team 16460, the Gearheads, uh, out of Brookfield, Wisconsin. This is our second year participating in the 30 hour build at Homestead. And right now, I think we're like four or five hours in right now. And we're just gonna show you guys what we are kind of looking at from an elevator mechanism of how we're gonna grab one of the pixels and then place it onto the mosaic. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. At Kettering University, over 30% of the student population was in high school robotics. These same students have received a portion of over $7 million in first scholarship. Scholarship applications will open in September. Get ready to go pro and get more information at kettering.edu slash first. We have, a ro we have one of our robots from last year, our first model, which was, a, um, which was an intake system, and we're using this elevator shaft. So essentially what we're going to do is because the poles are, um, the bars are 14 inches, we need to make sure that our elevator is going to be um, not, not taller than 14 inches. So at the beginning of the round, as you can see over, as you can see over here, um, we are going to have a servo that is going to essentially work with a latch, a mechanical latch, that will then allow this elevator, it's screwed in current, oh, one second, it, it's coming down, that will eventually allow the, the elevator to come down. And then we actually just added these two mechanical stops, um, our, our, some of our mechanical team members, so that when it comes down, it will basically rest on that. So we didn't go opt for software because it's a little complicated in the amount of time and it's just easier to add um, you know, it's mechanical stops. So then from there, we're essentially gonna be using our system from last year, or which we were using, which really conveniently helped. And one of the reasons we opted for this is because it will allow us to kind of reach at an angle as the black mosaics are because they're 30 degree angles. And it will allow us to nicely place the uh, pixels that, we, that the, this game's element will be used. So to place the pixels, we're using um, an, a claw system. It's a, it's a very simple claw that we're going to mount onto the elevator shaft right here. So uh, as you can see right here, we'll take the servo out so that the shaft, uh, so that this claw can be mounted like this. So this claw is controlled by one servo, uh, and then it has this mechanical uh, linkage system so that when the servo spins, the claw will open up. Uh, so the claw will open up using this mechanical linkage system, and then it can easily grab onto the uh, pixels on the ground and lift them up. So we opted for this because it's very simple as a, with a software standpoint. And then uh, since it's only one servo, it's very easy to control. We'll mount it onto the robot like this so that we can easily go up and place it onto the, um, onto the uh, backstage uh, mosaic systems on, in, on the field. So that's, that's like a simple overview of our, uh, what our robot is so far. And um, we're looking to we're looking to add a couple more things before the 30 hours. So we're looking to first add um, basically a two motor system that will have two um, two compliant wheels that spin in opposite directions and on a channel at the back of the robot. Essentially, is what we're looking at right now. And what we will do then is we're going to launch an airplane above the two ridges um, or the whatever alliance we're on to hopefully um, get into the first zone. Uh, so we're going to continue working throughout these next couple of hours, and then we're going to start implementing some software. We haven't thought about any autonomous yet, but this is our basic system that we're going to kind of ride with. Uh, we're not going to switch or anything like that, but for sure, if anyone has any questions, just let us know. Um, but we're looking excited for these next couple of hours. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to check out the other robots in 30 hours and on Fun's YouTube channel. Thank you. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. At Kettering University, over 30% of the student population was in high school robotics. These same students have received a portion of over $7 million in first scholarship. Scholarship applications will open in September. Get ready to go pro and get more information at kettering.edu slash first. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now and check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.